That's why I get peed off when I hear about all this Black Lives Matter and people talking about, yeah, you know, the police are this and the police are that. Yeah, there are bad police. Don't get it twisted. Man, see some videos or lately, like police just doing some out of order stuff, whatever. But these people that are hell bent on, you know, supporting the Black Lives Matter and thing and they hate the police. But most of these people who hate the police have never had no bad interactions with the police. So why do you think you are qualified to talk about the police being really that bad just because you've seen a couple of videos on YouTube? Out of a hundred police officers, there's probably about five that are no good. The majority of them are good. Now man said in that video, stop poisoning your children's mind. There's parents out here that they tell their children that the police are out to get them. That the police are bad. And then when they interact with a police officer, they have a chip on their shoulder. And they wonder why the police just want to rough handle them. Yeah, King Henry, you don't know. So, that's why I don't like a lot of these people who they're trying to really back this, this movement and you ain't directly been affected by it. If you're a person, right, and this is why I say people don't know what they're talking about and they ain't been directly affected. If you really are a road man, if you really are a street person, you won't get rough handled by the police, you know. If you really know how to play the game, if you really have experience dealing with the police, you don't get rough handled by the police because you'll know how to play the game. Only inexperienced people get rough handled by the police when they start running their mouth to the police because they're, they're inexperienced. They don't know how to deal with the police. Me, I know how to deal with the police. So that's why the police will never, ever have to rough handle me. Now, I did make a video the other day. I ain't going to spoil it about the one time I actually was rough handled by the police because I totally forgot about it until I was watching one of my JY's videos. I was watching the video, um, the one where I was talking about um, my driving and riding experience and I got rough handled by the police. And obviously I flipped it on his head during this video. I'll release that video soon. Um, it's called, I think it's called something about accountability or something like that. Um, look out for that video. I'll, I'll, I'll make that video soon. But yeah, hey, LDN, man. We do need the police. There's dumb people out here saying that we should get rid of the police force. Are you mad? Get rid of the police force. Are you mad? I beg we get rid of the police force for one week. Yeah, it'll be like the fucking purge. As a man said in that video, stop poisoning your children, man. It'll be like the fucking purge. You know how many there'll be bodies on every corner of the Ross Clark Street if we got rid of the police? But these people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Get rid of the police. Get rid of the police. Who's going to protect your grandma? Who's going to protect your mum out on the street? Or at least the police aren't there everywhere, anyway, but just their presence. If you eliminate the police's presence, no, it will be a free for all. It will be absolute chaos. You think there will be any shots open? Yeah, I know you like the video. Say it, say it for that, brother. There won't be no shots open. All the shots will be robbed. People's eyes will be... Man will be getting lit down. Left, right and centre. Get rid of the police. You are insane, but you don't know what the... If you feel like the police force needs to be, you know, disposed of, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You, you live in a dream world. There's men who are in prison because of the police. They should never be released from the prison system. They're too dangerous. So basically, if you feel like the police should be disposed of and we don't need them, then all the murderers that are on the street, so all the murderers that are in prison, right? You're basically saying we should release them. That's what you're basically saying because it's the police officers who put them there. No, I, I've never heard of a murderer 
killing anyone and going into prison and locking himself up. So therefore, it must have been the police that convicted them. Now, obviously, there might be some murderers who confess or whatever because they feel like they're going to get caught. But by and large, murderers don't confess and they definitely don't break into prison and lock themselves up. So if you want to get rid of the police force, you're basically saying free all the murderers, free all the rapists, yeah? free all the armed robbers. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, they are buzzing about defunding the police force. They're mad. They're mad. Me, I've never really had a real issue with the police, even when I was on the street being a damn jackass. Because I knew, deep down, the reason why I'm getting pulled and picked up by the police is because of my actions, my foolish behaviour. No one else. It's not because of the colour of my skin. My foolish behaviour. And this is, as I always say in my videos, this is why it gets on my nerves when people talk about the police and this and that. You don't know what you're talking about. When I used to get picked up by the police, it's because I was doing foolishness. And as soon as I stopped doing my foolishness, that's the day I stopped getting arrested. I stopped getting chased by the police. Right, for me to get, for me, I will never not get stopped by the police ever in my life, yeah? Because obviously, you know, Please do routine checks, one check insurance. Yeah, it might look dodgy on the street or whatever. But the day I made the conscious decision, you know what, I ain't going to do this no more. That's the day, magically, I stopped getting harassed. But I didn't even get harassed by the police, but that's the day I stopped getting stopped and searched by the police. Ain't that a coincidence? Yeah, 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 man, see, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it, I've seen it, hey, I've seen it, man, they're talking about free this, you, free that, bro, there's, there's, there's bear man out here, right, who talk about free this person, free that person, bro, they need to realise, that person, who these people have taken someone's child away from them, you know, there's people out here, right, they they want to sign petitions for murderers to get a lesser sentence, but they don't realise, hold on a minute, that's someone's son. A family out there has lost a family member. Whether the person was a bad person or not, it's not down to us or anyone to go and take people's lives, yeah? Foolish fear, I actually saw, I actually made a video about that. It's called the victim mentality. And I was talking about, yeah, they're signing some, they want to sign a petition to get someone's sentence lowered. I'm like, are you mad? This this you helped kill someone, but you want his sentence to be lowered. These people, they're, they're, they're fucking insane, man.